three persons of Trinity was there from all eternity itself. Uh, God existed. God chose to exist in three persons, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, even from all eternity. From all eternity, Jesus was with the Father as the Word of God, and the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. And uh, these three persons had perfect fellowship with one another from all eternity, even from the even from the beginning of time, even before the beginning of time. And at the proper time, Jesus came down as the the Word of God, became flesh, took a human form, and that was Jesus Christ. We are exhorted in uh, Philippians chapter two, verse five, is that have this attitude in you, which was in Christ Jesus, who emptied himself who humbled himself he became a man he became a bond servant he became like a criminal on the cross he learned obedience to the point of death so that basically that humility even before just before philippians 2 5 is philippians 2 3 and 4 where also where also it says that do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit but consider others as more important than yourself so that is the attitude that we need to have the humility of christ way I am zero before the Lord and uh, I humble myself before God in all circumstances. That attitude is the attitude of Christ which will help us to be filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will be able to guide us further with regard to our thoughts and words and deeds and all. So that humble attitude is actually the uh, great words, that great exhortation that we have in Philippians 2 5. When we have that humble attitude, uh, the Holy Spirit will be flooding our hearts and the Holy Spirit will be giving us that attitude of Christ in every situation like loving attitude, kind attitude, sometimes strict attitude before sin and traditions and all. So then Christ would be leaving his attitude in us. When we have that humble attitude, uh, then Christ would be taking over and he will be leaving out his attitude to every situation, that heavenly attitude and perspective, way of escape that we were seeing from First Corinthians 10, 13, no, when we attempt, that way of escape is that way of humbling ourselves and giving ourselves our will to the Father so that uh, the Lord can fill us with the Holy Spirit and with the Holy Spirit we can put to death the deeds of our body and the Holy Spirit will give us more of the life of Christ in our inner man, in our spirit and the spirit will be able to take over our thoughts and emotions and will whatever we are doing with our body, uh, with our mind and with our body. It is a continual death actually, it is not a once for all death. Even uh, Jesus says take your cross daily, even Paul says Second Corinthians 4, 10 and 11 uh, constantly being delivered over to death for Jesus sake. So it is a continual death, that means um, the, uh, the continually every moment I am keeping myself humble. Every moment there is a, I have a willpower where I can do my own will or surrender to God's will. So uh, whether it is temptations or no temptations, when I humble myself and uh, give myself to the Lord, uh, the, the more I give myself to the Lord, the more the Holy Spirit will be able to, as long as we, I give myself to the Lord, and in the measure I give myself to the Lord, the Holy Spirit will be able to uh, take control of me. Take control of me means the Holy Spirit will be able to empower me to think in the manner that Jesus thought all more and more. And then when I think in the manner Jesus thought, then my emotions also will be those godly emotions. And then I will be able to take decisions what to think and what to see, what to hear, what to say, what to do according to how the Holy Spirit prompts and empowers me.